Welcome back, chatters. We are heading into our next matchup. It is going to be Diego V going up against Burkish. So this is still top eight winners, because when you come into top eight here, Casa, everybody starts on the winner's side. You got two lives to spend, and we're all ready, letting it rock. Yeah, you thought you thought you could get enough Luke? No, we get more Luke. All of the Luke in here. So let's see. We haven't seen Diego V and Burkish, but Ken versus very explosive match incoming. Look at Diego V is taking his turns back. Oh, here's the throw into the corner. Here comes Luke. Spending all that drive. Both of them now in burnout, but it's Burkish on the offensive. Taking the corner. Yep. He's in a burnout state. But he's like, yo, I'm about to be plus right now. Hold that. Dragon Slash backs up a little bit. Buffering into something. Oh my gosh! That was so lucky there. Burkish. Okay. Oh, nice! It's gonna find the hit through the fireball here with the level one. Stuff from, uh, from Burkish. And Burkish was one of the players that were was on the outside looking in a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah Burkish was, was out of the top eight, but was in a match. And because of the result of said match, they actually managed to go in. Okay. All right. They are literally fighting. Okay. Right now. That was that was that situation I was actually talking about earlier that Kens aren't really doing as much anymore. But Diego never won to shy away. Went for two versions of the loop. Oh, does find that hit here. Final round again. First to three, all the way. Okay, Tatsus. Nice, finds the hit on the overhead, but backs up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice. It's gonna give him a good 50% life lead at this point. Ties it right back up with the level three. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're taking it to the sky. That was such a deep jumping attempt. Oh, nice. It answers right back at you. Uh, Diego finding his hit here. Still has a little bit of work. To the yellow. Yeah. At the very least, doesn't have to worry about the critical art. You do have oh to worry about the wake gosh. up deep or wake up jab, though. Let's find the hit. He's like, oh my gosh, yo. What a dash up into the DP. And the EX fireball hits his mark here from Diego. Taking the first game. Man, he's playing some maximum Kin Masters. Oh my yeah, there's a light. Diego is definitely a bit of a demon when it comes to the online Ken. Will oh. DP you like that one you found on ranked, but will also wait until it's their turn to DP at the same time. Yeah, I, I mean, all of the buttons that this man is pressing right now, he said it will always be my turn. Let's go. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, you're done. Goodbye. Oh, no, yeah, that's, that's it. That's, oh, yeah, that's he's it. He's playing with his food is what he's doing. I mean, that's good. Making him spin the meter here and gets the DP, finds the hit. Sheesh. Oh, that's such a rough situation to be in against characters who can quote unquote loop you like that, especially in burnout in the corner. Jab, jab away. Oh, but the knockdown here gonna give an opportunity to Burkish. Okay. Uh, the standing medium kick gets the jab. Nice. Good DP. Grabs him again. Oh, okay, now you're in burnout. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That bing, bing. Bada bing, bada boom. Like, you know, two zip here. Diego V looking extremely dominant with this Ken. Damn, the, the aggression is just at 10 right now with this character. Let's see what Burkish can do. Alright, here we go. Game three. Let's see. Alright, got a fireball to set the temperature. Still trying to close that gap a little bit. Burkish spending quite a bit of drive already. Gonna be able to build some of it back though. Yep. 
There he is, slowly finding his art, his mark there with the EXDP. No. Nope. Let's put it back in your pocket. Put it back in your pocket. Yeah, I, I hate to see that where it's, it's the meaty DI trying to get tricky with it, but it's, mm -hmm. it, putting yourself in burnout for that opportunity just feels so bad. It's gonna end up working out for Burkish, but it's a very real possibility it doesn't go that way next time. Ah, for sure. And that one sequence where anything can happen, that definitely is one of the variables. But let's see here for the next round. That's how this works out. It's the grab. Is that Dragon right, Lash for the frames. Mm -hmm. Oof, gosh. EXDP hits his mark. The player is just trying to, trying to fill out, test the waters here before something crazy happens. Nice, good DP. Oh, the parry pump not going to come of anything. We're in that territory, though, where one solid confirm from Diego closes up the round. You can see it, you can see it in his eyes that like he just wants to find that good hit. Just to close it out. With the, oh, okay. my gosh. Oh, no. No, he got the hit, but nothing after it, but gets the cross. Okay, there. Jabity jabs. Does not want to find themselves in burnout, but Burkish still going for the raw DI. Scary times. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, okay. All right. Now, this is where you got to hunt. Burkish got the see. They got these. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. With the full critical yeah. light, this should be enough. I'm not going to hit the yeah, button just yet, though. Nah, should be all right. No, he's not all right. No, he's not all right. Yo, 2-1, there for Burkish. Says that he is fighting. He is going to put up a fight in this top eight. So I'm going to let you guys know why I made this spot. Let's go. But I don't think that's going to slow down the aggressiveness that Diego's been playing at since the, the beginning of the set. Okay. Busts out again. This really is just two players going at it, throwing out meter every which way you know just just two just two oh, guys just, you know, hitting buttons mm. oh drops yeah. the the shoulder charge there still takes corner control diego not afraid <laughs> the high mind on the buttons i like it nice it's gonna find the parry into the back throw I think that was okay. probably the best option there too, right? Because the, the perfect parry is going to take all the damage opportunity away. At least the back mm -hmm. throw gives you corner control that you can try and push tempo with. But Burkish had the perfect timing on that fireball attempt. Okay. All right. Going out with the fireball. Low forwards here with the EXDP. Does find the mark. Buttons trade here. This could be a big turnaround here for Burkish to make it... Tied up 2 2. I want to see that last game, last round situation. Let's see what happens here, though. Oh no, it got the punish counter, so it ate up the last little bit of drive that Burkish had. Okay, all players in burnout. Big damage into the level three. I fully agree because he's about to recover. Once Burkish does recover, this could spell checkmate for this round. It's it's still a scary proposition though. It's gonna work out. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say it's scary because of the fact that by spending your level three, you now give the critical art over to your opponent, and you're at a health amount that critical art will kill you. So it's mm -hmm. it's scary, but I think you're right that because of the the way the drive gauges were working out, then it it ended up in Burkish's favor at the end. Okay, we're going into game five here. Last game for this uh, particular set. I don't know who's going to take it, but right now Diego's art to a great start, but he's going to find the parry, gets the throw into the corner. He wants to establish that corner pressure. Yeah, again, perfect parry on the DI. No damage opportunity, just back throw. It, it makes so much sense. We do have Diego trying to fight their way out, but with the OD reversal, Berkish says no. Stay back where you were. Okay. All right, jab, jab, jabs. <laughs> I like the back and forth movement between them, like a little dance. 
but you move first. You move. I'm ready. Oh my gosh! Into the target combo! Oh no! Ugh. You hate to see it, but uh, he, he called it out. And right now, Burkish is sitting on set point. Yeah, I, re I really like the idea of Burkish spending the meter there. Maybe a level one would have been enough, but why even risk it? Because you've spent the meter already. What's one extra bar in a game like Street Fighter 6? Like, you build it so fast. We're already back at a bar. Mm. Nice. He's going to find a throw here. Punish counter, though. Oh, no. Light. Good low forward. Gets the cross. Right. Okay. No, oh, nice. He finds it. Good stuff to Burkish taking it 3 2 over Diego. Diego, you know, the round start, I mean, the round, the beginning of this set was looking extremely clean for Diego, but Burkish just found some form of tempo and rhythm and. He brought that all the way back. Yeah, yeah I mean, even stuff. even in the replay here, we do see, you know, Diego had that nice combo to come back to mid screen and side swap. It, it put Burkish in kill range, but they just weren't able to keep it together. And Burkish really did have the timing down on Diego's fireballs. Yeah, he reacted accordingly. So that was a really, really good, strong adjustment made by Burkish and it's going to move on to the bracket. World deserves.